All right, guys, we're back again. Like I said in yesterday's video, we had a little snow system coming through uh, this morning, early this morning, throughout today. So uh, it's Wednesday morning, and we got about an inch coming is what they're saying at least. Uh, right now, it's heavy flurries is what I would call it, maybe a little bit more than that. There's a dusting on the ground, uh, but we're gonna go out, salt all of our properties before they open up this morning, and just see what we have to do from there. But that's that's the best we can do to keep everything safe. So that's what we're gonna do. It's about 4 a.m. We got the V-Box loaded up and we're heading out. All right, guys, we just got to our first location here. Nick is getting ready to start spreading some salt. I stepped over here to try to get a good shot of them, but I'm also gonna check these sidewalks out. So here we are, this one's pretty small. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy, just a couple passes, and then, like I said, the sidewalk. So get this one knocked out, and then another one right up the street. Alright guys, so like I said, that one's pretty cookie cutter. Uh, Nick handled it just fine. It's not that big of a deal really. It's pretty pretty simple. Uh, for that one, with the way that the snow is supposed to come in today, what'd you have the auger on? Uh, the auger's on two. What was the spinner on? Four. I was driving pretty slow. I was on like five or six. Yeah. So. So auger on two, spinner on four, and he said he was driving five or six miles an hour. So that's kind of how we judge it. Uh, you got those three factors that contribute to how much salt you're actually putting down. So that's where we were at on that one, and it was already all starting to melt whenever we were leaving. It's supposed to snow like this, uh, kind of a heavy flurry for the rest of the morning. So it will build up if we don't have any salt down or get any brine on the ground. But I think the way it's supposed to come in, it's not like it's gonna wash off the concrete and all that salt's gonna go away. So with that salt sitting on the parking lot in those puddles and in those cracks, whatever, when that snow hits, it's not gonna have a choice but to melt. So uh, we're gonna go handle all of our properties pretty much with this mentality. We've got about 10 more and we're gonna bring you guys along to each and every one of those if we're able. So uh, we're getting ready to pull up to the next one here and this one's super nice because we don't have to get out and salt any sidewalks. All right guys, so we're gonna try a simultaneous video here. We've got the GoPro on the back shooting the uh, actual discharge of the salt 
and then I'll show you here the controller, kind of how he's playing with it. I'm going to try to match these up perfectly. But for those of you guys that don't know, that haven't seen our other videos talking about this controller, that's what it looks like. You got a vibrator switch on your left, you got a power switch on your right, you've got a uh, dial on your left which is for the auger and you've got a dial on your right which is for the spinner. So that's kind of how we do it. You'll see right now there's no salt coming out and that spinner's still going on five and as soon as he kicks it on there more comes out but that spinner can spin all day until you get that auger going and get some salt to come out of that box. That spinner is basically useless so I thought this would just be a cool little training or little learning video on the on the V boxes here. And like I said, how we go about operating this thing when we're actually in use on site. Give you a full view here. Try to. Wish I had a wider lens for my camera. Say a little something to the camera, Nick. Say a little something. You say a little something? No, you're supposed to say a little something to the camera, Nick. I don't know, so I started reading it. I said a little something. A little something. Mm. He's talkative, isn't he? Working, man. You're over there playing. Playing? I'm not playing. Those of you guys that think that uh, when you come out and spread salt, you're just sitting there in the warm truck and everything's dandy, and all you got to do is throw some salt. You see how active he is, how much he's moving, how much he's looking at the mirror, looking back at where he's going. You got to go forward, reverse, constantly playing with the controller. It's definitely an active thing to uh, spread salt and to do it with some pride and to actually take your time and make sure you're getting a good coverage. You've got to be active, you've got to be constantly playing with those dials. And for our properties, for properties like this, as you can see, it's not that big. So it does take a lot of attention to detail and it does take a lot of activity to uh, get this property covered. Like I said, that side good look? efficiency. Uh, a little Need more some there. definitely. Yeah, you're gonna back up. So you can see right here we're already getting real good melt and right here where he just hit so doesn't take long. That's where the dial's at right now. Two and four when you're going on straight spots like this you don't have to sit there and mess with the dial as much. Uh, but when it comes time to stop, you got to kick your vibrator off and then kick your auger off. Don't kick your auger off first or you're going to jam up. A little salt spreader tip there. Anytime you have a vibrator, always turn your vibrator off before you turn anything else off. down a little bit extra this will buy us some time most likely we will be back salting these locations again today if what they say is coming does actually come Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that comparison, kind of a both ends of the spectrum 
kind of uh, clip there, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the cab while the salt is coming out the back. So, and uh, like I said, just kind of wanted to note that uh, it's a lot more activity than one would think uh, typically. So if you spread salt and you do like we do and you try to do it efficiently and you try to give the customer the best for their money, uh, that's kind of how it is. It's a pretty active deal. So uh, let us know down in the comments how you do it. Do you just put it everything on full blast and just run it and whatever happens, happens? Uh, or do you do it like us and take a little pride in it and make sure you get everything covered? Like I said, let us know down in the comments. All right, we're gonna head off to the next place here and uh, keep moving it's already 5 a.m. so we got to get this stuff done some of our places open at 6 and some of our stuff opens uh, 7 8 9 stuff like that so uh, we hit them accordingly try to get them taken care of as close as we can to when they open all right guys we just pulled up to another one here this is a good example of an industrial application we're gonna put the GoPro on the back of the spreader here and we'll take you through this process
All right, guys, so we just pulled up to our church. I showed you guys this one in last week's video. It's a huge hill. I'm going to do the in-the-truck view this time just because I don't feel like getting out. Um, it's all covered. Definitely going to be slick. We're going to have to get a run at it. We'll hit this at 2 on the auger and 3 on the spinner. That'll cover this. Uh, it's, a, it's a wide two-lane, we'll call it that. Um, and we're going to do, like I said, 2 on the auger, 3 on the spinner, and that'll put it out pretty good here. And then we'll hit it lightly on the way down. <laughs> Better get going, cowboy. You're gonna need to run at this. It's gonna be slick. But we don't do this uh, like right now. It's during the week. We don't we don't always do the whole lot during the week. There's a couple people that are here daily, but they don't need the whole lot done. So uh, that's kind of a Sunday and Wednesday thing whenever they have services. But this hill is mandatory. Uh, like I said in the last video, zero tolerance just because it is so dangerous and it is so steep. It's it's got to be salted anytime there's any kind of events. So. That is what it is. Go down and going pretty slow. We're going about 9 or 10 miles an hour right now. About to start slow. Puts the salt down pretty good. And we'll put it real heavy on the hill here, and then when we get to flat ground here, uh, you can kind of either speed up a little bit, yeah, it makes it speed up a little bit, or just tone down the auger. Or the... She wrote for the church hill. This seems to be a common place for a video. We've done uh, quite a few right here in this parking lot, but this one was pretty bad. It was not too patchy, this storm, really. Everything was pretty consistent, but as you can see behind me, this one was pretty covered. So we're hammering it good. You can see over here, it's starting to get some melt. Uh, of course, got a bunch of street lights and stuff over here, too. But the parking lot kind of goes it's flat over here, and then it kind of dips right here. And it always seems to be pretty bad right here. I think the building may have something to do with that too. But uh, it's always, always right there. There's always more right there than there is everywhere else. So we're getting everything else uh, to melt pretty good already. But that over there is just being somewhat troublesome. So we'll get this wrapped up. We got one more location. And uh, time to get some breakfast. Go load up around.
one for this round. Uh, I did skip a couple in recording, but got most of them. But I wanted to do another in cab kind of shot here. Now this one, it's getting light now so you can see a lot more, but this one I salted yesterday morning. We had a little dusting of snow, so I came out and salted a few. This was one that got salted, and you can definitely tell because it's not covered like the other ones were. You can see where there was more salt. So, shouldn't take too much salt. We'll burn this right off. It's already starting to burn off there, so. Just a light layer, but enough to where it definitely needs it. You guys have seen this location a lot. This has been a lot of our salting and our plow videos. Try to get close to cars, but don't get too close that you hit them. Definitely don't want to do that. So just do the best you can and definitely want to state in your contract that you're not going to be backing right up next to cars and plowing right next to cars. So situations where there's vehicles in the parking lot, you just get as close as you can. starting to burn off pretty good so another 20 or 30 minutes or so and most of the snow will be gone. So we're doing the loading dock area. It's not bad back here so we're just putting a little bit of salt down. It's only one truck wide and I salted that pretty heavy yesterday so shouldn't need too much. So. Alright guys, that's all we got for this one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know down in the comments what you thought. Uh, Try to take a couple different camera angles here and pass along as much info as we could. If you got any questions, leave those down in the comments as well. We're about to head in here. We're at Eckert's uh, right by our shop, pretty close to our shop, uh, about seven minutes away. So we're going to run in here. They have $13 all-you-can-eat breakfast every weekday so anytime that we're salting or plowing or anything like that we get done early in the morning I like to come in here take advantage of the all you can eat they have everything i'm drooling just thinking about it right now so we're gonna head in here get some grub we'll see you guys in the next one